So in this video I'll show you how to replace the chain on a bicycle. So the last video I made when I was using this bike, I showed how to replace uh, the freewheel cassette, uh, which is right here. So you can see that you know it's still brand new and nice and shiny. It's you know hardly really even been used. Um, but unfortunately, what you'll find is if you replace a cassette um, and you're still using your old chain, um, you're going to find that you'll probably have uh, the chain skipping a little bit on the sprockets there. And the reason that happens is because uh, the chain and the and the, the chain and the sprockets wear at about the same rate. And uh, particularly the small one, you'll you'll notice the most because it has the fewest number of teeth. Um, but Basically, the chain wears at the same rate as the sprockets, and over time they kind of change shape. Um, but they're still, you know, always going to be compatible with each other um, because they're changing at the same rate. Um, but if you suddenly have to go and replace one of the two, um, you'll, you'll you'll notice a lot of problems uh, with uh, with with the chain skipping. Um, so since I've replaced this, I need to replace the chain now, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. So this is a pretty simple job, there's really only one tool that you'll need to do it and it's called a chain breaker or a chain tool and this is one that I have, it's made by Park Tool. Uh, you can pick these up for you know under $20, uh, they're quite affordable, quite useful to have with you um, because you really can't do very much with your chain if you don't have one of these so it's always good to have this with you um, if you're on the road or something so you can fix your chain and I actually made a video um, a few years ago showing how to use one of these to repair an old chain. Uh, this video is how to put on a new one. So you want to start by putting your chain tool um, and sticking it through uh, one of your links. It really doesn't matter where you take it off. Um, then you just line it up so that this pin here is lined up uh, with the pin in the chain. And then you just rotate it like this. And as you're turning it, what you're doing is you're pushing that pin through to the other side so you're going to be able to, to take it apart. And uh, you'll notice at the beginning it's kind of hard to turn. Uh, turn the tool to make it go um, and then eventually it'll start to get easier um, as the pin starts to move and then again you're going to notice it's going to get start to get hard again so right about there it's getting hard so as soon as it gets hard you want to stop um, because you don't actually need to push this pin all the way through uh, we just need it to go um, you know out of the way so we'll be able to pull it apart we don't want to completely remove this pin in case we ever do want to put this chain uh, back on another bike uh, so now we just back this off and take the chain tool off and then we should be able to pull our chain apart like that and then to separate this all we've got to do is just bend this back and forth like that and it should come out just like that so now with the chain disconnected you should be able to just pull it through and get it off of the bike completely so this is the box of the chain in and I've now got the chain just all laid out on the driveway like that I've um, got it sitting next to the old chain because I want to shorten the new chain so it's going to be the same length um, as the existing one so that it will fit on the bike properly. Um, so you can see that they put like a few extra links in the new one um, just to make sure you're going to have enough. So I'm going to take these extra links off and then just put them in my, uh, my parts bin for if I ever end up breaking one of these links and I want a new one, then I can just take one right out of here and use it. In the package for the chain, it also came with one of these things, uh, which is called a quick link, which you can use uh, if you don't have a chain tool um, for putting in there, and you can just click them together without you know any using any special tool. You can just feed those two pins together and then just pull on the chain and it goes together. Um, I personally haven't ever really used any of these. Um, I'm just fine using the chain breaking tool uh, for installing it, but uh, this is just for if you happen to break your chain and buy a new one. Uh, you can do this uh, without buying a chain tool to do it. So I'm just going to use the chain tool now to take those extra links off and I'm going to give you a closer up view of how to do it this time. Um, so you want to make sure that the pin here in the tool is lined up with the pin there um, in the middle of the, uh, the chain there. And then just slowly you just want to turn and tighten it. As I said at the beginning it will be you know, pretty hard to get started. There it goes, now it starts to get easier, you heard it made a little noise. And now you can see on the other edge there, uh, the pin's starting to pop out the other side. Uh, so just keep twisting. Keep coming through. And as I said, it's going to start to get hard in a moment here. There it goes, now it's getting hard. As soon as it gets hard, you want to stop because I don't want to push this pin all the way through. Um, because you're going to see in the next step, we're going to want to use this tool to then push the, uh, the pin back through and uh, you know reinstall it once it's on the bike. So now I can just 
ease this thing off, take it all the way out, take this off, and as I said before, you just sort of have to bend it and it should come off like that. And you can see that the pin is still hanging on there and uh, just like that. So what I've got left with are these extra links here, which I'm gonna put in my parts bin for uh, in case the other ones get damaged uh, when I'm using the bike. So now that this is the right length, we wanna put it back on the bike, thread it through. Uh, you wanna be careful when you're threading it through the derailleur here, make sure you get it going through the right path through the gears. Um, if you have it going through the wrong way, sometimes it'll everything will seem right, but it'll make a funny little noise because it's brushing up against something. You know, you kind of went the wrong way around something. Uh, you want to try and avoid that, um, obviously, because it's going to do damage to your chain and it's going to do damage to your derailleur as well. So before I did this, I made sure I put my derailleur so that it was in the smallest chain ring, so it was all the way out here. And I put this derailleur so it was all the way in there. Um, that's because I want the chain to be the most slack for when I have to put it back together. So I don't want the spring in here uh, fighting against me too much. So now I've got it threaded through. You should just be able to push those two sections together that you took off before, like so. So now with these pushed back together again, you're gonna use this tool and push that pin back through again. Uh, you you're gonna want to uh, make sure you pull this pin um, so it's lots of far out of your way so that uh, it's gonna be able to fit on there. Uh, so just like that, and then make sure that this end here is lined up with the end of the pin, and then you just gotta push and push that pin back through. And again, it's gonna be a little bit of force at the beginning to get it started, but once it starts going, it should be pretty easy. And then again, it's gonna be hard at the end once you get to the other side. So now there it starts to get hard again. So just push, and you don't wanna push it too far through, you want to kind of push it so that it's going to be lined up. Uh, so you're going to be, you know, you know, be either sticking out the same amount on either side and kind of make it so it looks like all of the other ones on there. So right there looks pretty much centered. So I'm just going to back this off again and we're going to just take a look at it. And yeah, it looks pretty much the same as all the other ones there. Maybe a little bit further through. I'll just push it another little bit. Uh, it's actually hard to tell which one it is now. But yeah, it's this one here. I'm just going to push it a little bit further through. Tiny little bit. Just like that. And if you do happen to push it through a little bit too far, you can always put the tool back on the other side and just push it back through a little bit. And I think I did push it a little bit too much. Just a tiny amount of pressure there. And yeah, that's good. Um, but what you'll probably notice after you've done this is that link will kind of be a little bit stiff. It's not going to want to, you know, turn as well as all the other ones does. do. See how it's kind of getting stuck uh, like that a little bit. Uh, the way you can fix that, uh, the reason it's like that, first of all, is because using that tool, what it does is it pinches the two outsides a little bit too close together on the insides. Uh, but the way to correct that is by rocking it back and forth in this direction here, like that. So just kind of wiggling the chain, you know, like this. Um, and then, you know, it should be just as good as all the other ones after you've done that a little bit. And as you can see, it's as good as new. So now that I got the chain back together, uh, the job is finished. So this concludes my tutorial on how to replace a chain on a bicycle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.